Makers. If you're new here, my name is Jeanette Fryer. I am the owner and maker of Jabelle Sheet. So you guys, so I thought I would switch up this week's video just to do something different. So today we are going to be doing a spring sublimation mug. And I just thought it was the perfect time um, to do a spring mug. Um, I know myself, I love to, I'm still drinking coffee at this time. I'm still drinking a cup of tea at nighttime before bed. And um, I thought a spring mug would be just the perfect tutorial for this week. So I am going to be using my Cricut Maker, my Cricut Mug Press, I'm sorry. Also, I have a Cricut Maker, as you guys know. So I am going to be using my Cricut Mug Press. Um, I've had it for a while. Um, of course, I don't do a lot of sublimation in my business, but I want to do more of that as well. So the printer that I'm gonna be using in this video is gonna be a Echo Tank 15,000, and I've converted it to a sublimation using Cosmo Ink. So you guys, I think that this is going to be a fun video. So once again, makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And so I think that is enough of me. So let's jump right into this week's video. Let's go. So well, here I am starting out with an image that I got off of Etsy. I will try and link the name of the shop as to where I got this image. So it's just a simple spring image, just hello spring. And I just thought it would be very fun to put this on a tumbler, on, on a mug. Y'all, I've been doing tumblers for so long. That's all I know. All right, so we're going to be putting this on a mug today. So I am in Silhouette Studio, the business edition. So we are going to, I've already resized my, my, platform that, I'm, that I am working on to an 11 by 8.5. That is going to be the printer size, the size of the paper that I'm going to be using in the printer. So I sized that as well. And I also went down here to show print borders so I can see how much um, print area that I need to be able to print. So for this image, I think I am going to print it around 3.3. So I am going to go up to the, to the top of the screen and change the dimensions to three by three. So once I have that done, I am going to mirror this image, flip horizontal. So when I put it on a mug, it is going to print and sublimate the correct way. So although with my mugs I always do, uh, put the image on both sides. I am going to duplicate this. It like at least four times so I can have extra, just in case I mess up. So we have everything duplicated and ready to go. I am going to send this to my printer and I'm gonna take you guys along with me so you can see that process as well. All right, you guys, so here is the paper that we're gonna be sublimating our image on. It is by ASUB and the size is 8.5 by 11. And of course, I am going to be using my Epson EcoTank 15,000. I've had this for a while and it does not, it is not an original sublimation printer. It is a printer that I actually converted to a sublimation printer using Cosmos ink, okay? So I do not claim to know a lot about sublimation. As I said, I'm just getting into it. I want to do more, but like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna go on, we're gonna create this mug, and hopefully it turns out amazing. All right, you guys, so now I am within my print printing platform within Silhouette Studio Business Edition. So when I am printing for sublimation, I always select premium presentation matte and best quality. That seems to give me the best image when I am printing. So I've already have my printer selected to my selected printer, which is the Epson ET15000. Make sure everything is selected um, as I want it to be selected. 
and I am going to send it to the printer. Now that we have our image all printed out and it is looking just the vibe that I wanted to accomplish here. So I am going to just simply cut my image out. And like I said before, I like to use, make it double-sided when I do a mug. So I'm gonna be using two images. So the mug that I have is from JDS. Um, I will link the name of that company um, down in the description below. It is a 12 ounce sublimation mug and I really like using these because they're simple, clean, sleek, and they sub very well to me. So I am going to take Hello Spring and of course when you're sublimating you always want to ensure you're using heat tape. Um, this tape works well in when, it's, when it gets hot. You cannot use any type of tape. It has to be heat tape, okay? All right, so let me just find the beginning here. So, I'm just gonna take a couple pieces. And when you're putting your design down, you want to make sure um, like I said, I want to ensure that it is um, kind of centered on both sides. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, you know. Um, no rhyme or reason here. Just, just eyeballing it where you think it is center, okay? All right, and once I have it centered, I am just going to put a piece of tape down. And just grab another piece of tape and do the same thing. You did see me use a lot of tape here. You don't necessarily have to use a lot. However, you don't want to ensure your image is flat as possible so you won't have any type of ghosting going on. Ghosting is when the image is kind of like floating, kind of looking like fuzzy kind of. So that that is what I was trying to ensure that does not happen in this case. So now we are getting ready to heat our mug press up so we can sublimate this tumbler. I want to mention before I applied my image to my, my mug, I did uh, ensure I cleaned the entire um, um, mug just to make sure it was free of lint and all those things. All right, so this is the Cric Cricut Mug Press. Um, I really love this thing. Of course, I, I, I've never used, well, I have had something in the past to compare it to, and this is like 10 times better. So I really, really love it. So it is sort of heavy on the heavy side, and which is, which is a good thing. Um, it seems to be quality made. So of course, this is not a Cricut sponsored video. Um, I'm just going off what I've learned so far about using this mug press, okay? Um, so, as I said, this is not a Cricut review or anything like that. This is just my own personal review on this mug press. So, in order to turn it on, it has a power button. You just power it up. And when it gets to as to where it is fully functional and hot, everything will, it will beep and let you know it's ready to go. So we're just gonna heat this up. Now the mug press is fully um, heated up and ready to go. Um, I did time it, I think it took about five minutes to fully heat up and get ready to sublimate this mug. So now um, we're going to just place the mug down in it. However, when you're handling a hot surface and it's really hot in here, I can just feel the heat like coming off of it. Um, I'm just gonna put these heat protection gloves on and I got these from Amazon and they work really well. I really like them. So I am just going to, just to protect my fingers when I'm putting the mug in, I'm just gonna put the mug in here and I'm gonna allow it to just go all the way down and we're just gonna take this little clamp here I'm gonna make sure the mug is all the way to the left. You see me pushing it here. And 
clamp it in. So you see these little lights here? As, they, as the mug continues to heat up, they're gonna go over to all five lights. When it gets to the fifth light, that means it is ready to go. It is now beeping. I don't know if you can hear it, but I am going to take the mug out. So these lights are all fully blinking and lets us, lets us know the mug is ready to come out. Okay, so you see it is very hot and smoking and you can kind of see the design kind of peeking through. And of course, these gloves that I'm using are coming in very, very handy, um, very handy. So I would definitely recommend if you sublimating and using a heat press to get a pair of these gloves. So I am gonna let this cool a minute or two, um, probably like five or, five or 10 minutes before we attempt to remove the tape. So oh, now it is, um, it's still a little warm, but it is okay to touch. So now I'm just going to use my fingernails um, to pick the tape. How this design has turned out. Pieces of tape to pick off. All right. So let's see. Y'all, look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. So pretty. All right, let's do the other side. Colors. Very pretty. So you guys, as you see, it was a very easy process. Not hard at all. And the colors are just, just like the picture. Probably even better. Here she is. Oh my God, those colors are beautiful. And it turned out so, so pretty. Y'all look at that. I'm really into this boho retro vibe right now. So when I saw this um, PNG of this Hello Spring image on Etsy, I just had to have it. And I just had to create a mug. So I definitely will be using this mug for my coffee tomorrow and my tea tonight. So y'all, I am so looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys, but I try to use a different mug every day or a different tumbler. It just seems to get me in the mood and just makes my day just, I don't know, it just makes my day go very well. So, oh, that's so good. Cricket, that Cricut did its thing, y'all. So, like I said, that's just my own personal opinion of that product. This is not a Cricut sponsor or review or anything like that. Um, this is just, you know, I picked that up, you know, you know, almost almost a year ago um, that I've had it, and this is what we created with it today. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. All right, so you guys, as always, the quote for today's video is, y'all waiting, y'all waiting, y'all waiting for the quote? The quote for today's video is, you create your own opportunities. Y'all, once again, you are responsible for your own success in this world. You, um, you're, you are your biggest motivator, you are your biggest, um, I don't know, um, you know, sometimes you have those things in the back of your mind, like I can't do this or things like that. But you just have to say, hey, look, I can do it. I can do it. I can try it. You know, if you don't try, you never know what you're going to do. So like I said, you create your own opportunities in this life. Okay. So if you see an opportunity that you want to go out there and try and accomplish, just reach for it. Hey, and it's yours. It's yours. So you just have to put in the effort, the work, and just make it happen. So... With that being said, you guys, if you are new to Jabelle Chic, and if you just new to making tumblers, anything like that, please consider subscribing. Also, I have created a Facebook group 
is very small right now. However, it is continuing to grow. Uh, we actually did our first live last week, and well, this this week, this past Friday, and it went very well. So, you guys, um, I will post a link to the Facebook group as always. That's going to be linked in the description box below. So, like I said, it is a safe place to create and share, and we are having loads of fun. It's just some new Tumblr makers in there. And they just asking all the questions. Like I said, it's just no negativity, no drama or anything like that. We are just there to share and just learn from each other. And we are having a blast. We are having a blast. So once again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And please don't forget to click that notification bell. All right, you guys and makers. So until next time, continue creating and just get out and enjoy this beautiful spring weather. I know here in Texas, it is starting to get spring. And I am just, I just so love this, this time of the year. So it just really makes me warm and I don't know. I just want to get outside and just take in all the sun rays. I don't know about you guys. So that's definitely how I feel. So enough for me, you guys. I will see you in the next video. But until then, stay blessed and continue creating. Once again, makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you on board. Also, I have created a new Facebook group in which we all get inspiration from others. It is a safe space to create and share. The link to the group is listed below. Until next time, stay blessed and continue creating.